Oh, shit. Hello, everybody. Life is good right now, but maybe not next week. So enjoy. <laughs> um, everything. <laughs> San Antonio sold out. Grand Rapids sold out. But we have Hartford, Connecticut, Albany, Syracuse, um, San Diego sold out. We got Burbank, Tempe, Arizona, San Jose, Richmond, Virginia Beach, Spokane, SLC, Des Moines, Omaha, Portland, Tacoma, Hasbro Heights. Tampa, Orlando, Greensboro, Charlotte, Detroit, Niles, Michigan, Fort Worth, Wichita Falls, Chicago. Most everything's on my website, and a lot of it's not. I'm sorry, but that's on them. I always ask them, give me the tickling, and then they go, <laughs> I'm like, cool, bro. Your boy's viral right now. Anyways, hey, that's too much. That's too much information. I love you all. Watch this episode. It's very nice. Smooth jazz. I don't. We're not going to call it that because we've called other ones that. Yeah. Stinky jazz. <laughs> um, yeah. <it> just, <laughs> we'll call this one charcuterie board. I'm a man. I don't know. Uh, just tune in. It's lovely. You're lovely. I love you all. See you soon. Howdy doody. Just, just over here being a man and shit. I got a son now. I make babies. I'm a man. <laughs> you fucking pussy boys ain't doing shit. <laughs> What a lunatic. I bought this charcuterie board at Costco. It's in the shape of California, and it has, like, the redwood forest on it. I'm a sucker for wood. You know me in the wood. <laughs> I love wood. Uh, you, I went viral. I sniff it. That's not a joke. You think this is a game? I be sniffing cedars at the stores. Cedar. Pine, too. Pine's lovely. Oak, not so much. Some of them smell like ass. Some of them smell like heaven. <laughs> I got cedar planks in my in my in my hangers. You sh you just shave them down a little bit, and they make your your flannels smell good. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm silly today. What are you sorry for? Oh. Oh yeah, you guys ready? I'm a man. That's a black and decker. Why's it gotta be black? <laughs> oh sorry mr plant i love you how's that looking is yeah, it in looks, the shop yep yeah ah okay let's get funny i was born funny because i was abused and mm, never mind <laughs> need not say it need not say it. i was diddled <laughs> hey 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 all the best comics were look them up they, they're public. I was going to name them. But yeah, <laughs> they talk about it on their pod, too. What is with the diddling? <laughs> Knock it off, devil. Get out of my ass. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you can't laugh at it, what are you going to do? Cry and <laughs> whatever. Um, Yeah. I got this new story about my circumcision and dick cheese and a charcuterie board in my pants. So <laughs> God is good because then I go to Costco and he's like, charcuterie board of California. I'm a California boy, born and raised, Los Angeles. And then I was like, I'm gonna put that up. I wish I still had my foreskin because I'd put a little cheese on it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be here all night. Ka -ka 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 -ka. <laughs> Hope you're listening to this with your family. <laughs> You sick son of a bitch. I am in good spirits today. Last time I was a sad pussy boy. I was having women's troubles. I fucking love those tits. You know what I mean? I'm just kidding. I, I'm not kidding. I'm not <laughs> kidding. No, I'm just ready to grow up, dude. Fucking, I already talked about that. You just get over it. You're like, how many mistakes are you going to make in like, uh, that sounded bad. I didn't mean my son. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I meant behaviors. And uh, no, my boy's so cute. He's a blessing. That little guy's got some deep blue eyes. It's so crazy because you just hold him. And you're like, oh, this is dope. And then you got to change his diaper and you're like, man, this sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the truth. <laughs> Women won't say that. I, I get to change his. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Stinks. No, it doesn't even stink yet. It's still like 
tip milk poop. It's going to get worse. He's going to be a stinker if he's related to me. <laughs> no, I mean, he is. I took a test. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anybody. You just told everybody. <laughs> you got to be sure, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not going to pay that rent for some other fool's kid. That's my boy. <laughs> now I got to pay. Now I got to pay the piper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are talking about stuff we probably shouldn't be talking about. <laughs> Shh. I'm an open book. What am I going to do? I talk about my life. This is my life. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Went on a long beach walk with 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 my babes and uh, and went in the ocean in my boxers. It's fucking great. Pecker out. Dolphins were nibbling at it. It was fantastic. It's a good time. It's a good time. Y'all had your nuts nibbled by a dolphin. You haven't lived, bro. You got to put some seaweed on it and lure them in. <laughs> Damn, I'm fucking silly, bro. What is happening? This is what you pay the big bucks for. Yeah, I'm on a fucking cloud right now. Dude, this shit's so weird. I guess I'll talk about this because who gives a fuck? And I'm pretty much an open book anyways. So my landlord, I've talked about him. He ain't gonna listen to this. He's a piece of shit. Fuck face. He's like a child. He lies. You catch him in lies. He said he was down here trimming the bushes. We're like, no, you weren't, dog. You live two hours away and you're 78. You ain't trimming no fucking bushes. Besides, I look, I look they're not trimmed. <laughs> He's, you know what I mean? Yeah. You catch him and shit like that. He's really mean to my neighbor and my neighbor move, is moving out. So there's a spot opening up. And this is how, okay, tell me this isn't crazy. I know I'm a woo-woo spiritual hippie, hippie boy. But uh, I literally said to myself, man, I want to move out. I want that apartment. And then I'm outside playing with my cats. And my neighbor in the next door building sees my for rent sign. I don't bring it up. And he goes, oh, who's moving out? I go, yeah, landlord's a piece of shit. He was really mean to them. And they're they're over the shit. And they're moving out. And uh, and then uh, he said, well, this one's opening up. The, I pointed at it this morning. <laughs> Three hours later, he goes, this one's for rent. And I had no <laughs> fucking clue. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I'm telling you, dog. Am I a super manifester, dog? <laughs> It's so nice, too. It's expensive, though, but we be selling hoodies. And uh, that's that's just a lot of strange coincidences when you start uh, walking the walk or paying attention or in tune. I didn't really pay attention to uh, ayahuasca. <laughs> that shit is an awakener, bro. I love it. I'm going back. I'm going back in two weeks. Devil, you ain't got shit, homie. I'm coming fucking. Come. I'm bringing my spirit sword. I'm, I'm scared, man. I'm so scared. It's so real. It's not even so real. It is real. Come on. Come with me, pussy. Come on. I'm scared. <laughs> you already ate a quarter of mushrooms. Close. It was, a, it was an eighth. Oh, yeah, but it was just strong and you went there. That's yeah, right. and I don't want to do that again either. Why not? I mean, it would, no, the it's benefits a, would be amazing. I I know that, but the, it's the terrifying. journey itself is so... It's terrifying and it is work. It's not for funsies. Yeah. Dang. No. <laughs> no. I just have a little bit of the fecal matter stuck left and I just got to wash it off. Got to be clean for my boy. That way he doesn't see me, you know, smoking pookies and fucking hookers. <laughs> Sorry, son. <laughs> Sorry, my boy. Look away. The devil's in my tummy still. <laughs> <laughs> Love and light, baby. Just keep. Damn. I'm so happy, dude, that I'm selling out all my shows. This shit's surreal. I'm literally living my fucking dream. Santa Ana Pueblo, New Mexico, a.k.a. Albuquerque. That shit was so dope. Sold out three of the four in a small, not smaller market. Yeah, I guess. That's harder. That's like, oh, no. Is she spraying you with shit no, again? Okay. No, I'm just worried. I, I would be, too. <laughs> it's happened too My, much. Luis is all over Chris, and she's shit on him twice now, so he's scared. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why, 
<laughs> my cat shit on you. You're the sweetest guy ever. He's still just loving her and petting him. I just got him flea bath. Nice. They forgot to trim the nails again, and then I called, and they were. I felt so bad. You never know what somebody's going through. Is all I gotta say. I need not bring that up. But you ever say like, "Hey, man," and then they say something. You're like. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hurt myself now. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. Yeah. You never know what people are going through, so just just be aware of that, everybody. And uh, and there's so there's such. It's called Pets Choice in Wilmington. They're the absolute fucking best. They uh, no one does cats, bro. Uh, hardly mm. any of these groomers do cats. So the fact that they do that already complicates things because you know dogs and cats have you heard that saying and uh they always hook my cats up and show them love i brought luis and thelma and two duffel bags i will cheap at i got my daddy in me i'm like i'm not buying two more cat carriers i already have two cat carriers i brought them in duffels it was terrible it was terrible no i'm like you alive you breathing in there cracking it they escape i bought i bought a cat carrier I finally did. They're 20 bucks on Amazon. This cheap ass is like, no. <laughs> I bought a, a big one for Thelma and Louise. It's turquoise. It's cute. And it was 25 bucks. What a cheap <laughs> ass. I'm bringing them in cardboard boxes and duffels. <laughs> I had an Apple box once. I yeah. Used. <laughs> it works. Yeah. It fucking works. It's got a lid. That one, you cut holes. The duffel? Yeah. I felt bad. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's fabric with plastic. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> they're like you need cat cat bags i'm like i know i'm sorry i apologize and i'm getting cat bags i cannot believe that fucking apartment i was like i literally said i want that one and then three hours later he goes that one's open i went huh what okay universe time for an upgrade plus my landlord fucking sucks he said he was gonna fix all this shit and then his devil wife convinced him otherwise Cheap bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, can't wait till I move out. I'm going to name him, put his address out there. Go attack this man. I have power now. No, just jokes. I mean, maybe some eggs. Some eggs. Justice. He was so mean to them. They're the sweetest fucking souls ever. Anyways, roll with the punches, baby. Move on. Don't find me an excuse to level up. West Side, we're gonna Tupac this bitch. I was all getting ready to shoot my special in Sacramento, but that's just more complicated than like like. There's some hiccups. We gotta figure shit out. You gotta like pay extra and come in a day early, and it's like crazy. I'm gonna have to hit a Bobby Lee. Hey man, pay for this. Come on, man. <laughs> you got millions. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Next year. Next year I will be. What a crazy thing to think that I was the brokest drug addict and now I'm going to be a millionaire. Ain't that some shit? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> we'll finally get you out of Trader Joe's, bro. Pay you them. You're on your own for health insurance. You know what I believe in that corrupt <laughs> system. You pay for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. Just keep going, motherfuckers. That shit's crazy. There's a hustle in everything. I preach that shit all the time. There's motherfuckers making millions off shoes, selling shoes. There's people with vending machine routes, paying mortgages off of chips. You understand? You can make money off anything. Yeah, Gary Vee is annoying me now. I drank the Kool-Aid at first, <laughs> then he became annoying. But he's right. But he's right. Go buy a Hot Wheel and sell it for 50 bucks. It's just information. Oh, that one's got the red tag. I personally enjoy that shit. Don't you? Isn't it fun? No? Uh, no, I think it skipped a generation. My mom was big on that. Yeah. Yeah. I liked, I just like going to Goodwill and be like, oh, that's, you know? <laughs> I don't know why I just love it, but I do. Like just finding a, a fucking expensive item and selling it. Just hustling, I guess. My whole family's hustlers. You know the list from bookies to pool hustlers to gangsters and drug dealers. <laughs> oh, let's not forget the smut I peddled. <laughs> I was a child. It doesn't count. <laughs> um, Yeah, I just love it. I always loved 
like little rascals and the adventures and selling lemonade and and that carries on into adulthood now that I'm selling jokes and hoodies and and uh and views and that's selling 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 my Facebook Facebook's gonna pay my mortgage. <laughs> what fucking planet is this, bro? <laughs> you saw me when I was a drunk. You're crazy. <laughs> You're still friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Speaking of crazy, I have the best fans, dude. Um, fans gave me some cute shit for my son in New Mexico. Check check how cute this shit is. Hello, baby. <laughs> but dude come on bro for the beach nice and it's got this little little bonnet with ears on it <laughs> fucking cute shit bro thank you whoever gave me that i'm sorry i don't remember your name but just i met 300 people that night look at this cute little long johns <laughs> we'll take him to the west he'll get a whistle you know like the miner over here so cute and then, um, oh, I should put out the other color. Hang on, let me seal it up. One moment, please. Get off of me. A fan gave me, because I showed all my little knife, and they like, you need a knife for your son. So they gave me this cute little switchblade oh, for my boy so he could pre protect himself from the Catholic Church. You get back. <laughs> You get back. I don't want to do ayahuasca like daddy did. Nah. <laughs> you defend yourself, son. Justice. I just wish swift justice to evil bastards. It's coming. P. did it. Uh-huh. I got something for that ass, P. did it. Yeah. Bend over, boy. Isn't this cute? They said, this is for your boy. And I smuggled it back. <laughs> What's TSA going to do? It's in my booty hole. And then they gave me this little pistol for my boy, too. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's fake. It's not real. But it's like a replica. There's no firing pin in here. You're not scared, are you? No. I swear. Watch. <laughs> Education model. I'm not trying to nice, scare everybody. Yeah. But it's it, it has all the full functions and capabilities. And it even comes with little practice bullets. I mean, fake bullets. These aren't real. This is a toy. It's a very real toy, though. <laughs> Isn't that? I have the best fans. They give me guns and knives. <laughs> Life is so good, bro. From the Beretta, putting holes in your sweater. This is a Beretta. I even have good trigger discipline, even though it's a toy. <laughs> I dropped it as a joke. That is so cute. That's so fun. A functioning toy pistol. He's going to be so good. <laughs> I'm ready for the Illuminati, Father. Pa 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 pa. <laughs> Back up. Protection, love, light, garden. Get your GMO out of here. Get your lab-grown meat out of here. You little soy boy pussy. <laughs> 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 what a nutter. Defend, defend love. But the thing is, that's still playing their game of fighting. You can't beat them like that, you know. It's, you could only beat by walking in a different direction and just you create something over here so good where like there's no fighting. You just go, oh, that's silly. But I got all this rage in me. No, there's gardening tools. You just fucking shoot the soil. <laughs> Put a melon seed in there, son. <laughs> what a cute little pistol. I can't wait to give it to him. How old should he be when I give him this? Four? Sounds right. Maybe five. I don't want the <laughs> internet to judge me. They don't make... This is... When I was a kid, they had... They were plastic. You know? That's some good. It's got some girth. Maybe don't let them play with it in the yard. I almost didn't bring it back with me because I was like, dude, I don't want to get on a no-flight list. Right, yeah. My career, my... You know... But then I was like, pop it and raise no <laughs> bitch. You bring that back. <laughs> you go get that shit. You hide it in your luggage. <laughs> and you make Eric, your opener, check the bag. <laughs> 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 Looks like you're driving everywhere, Eric. I'm sorry. I don't know how that got in your luggage. 
my apologies. <laughs> That's not the first time I made somebody else smuggle something for me. <laughs> when we were in Mexico, uh, I put all my fireworks in my family friend's car and not our car. <laughs> So we were going across the border and we were cracking up. We're like, it's all in there, dude. And it was this sweet lady that used to be a nun too. I put it in a nun's car. I put illegal fireworks from Mexico in a nun's car. I'm sorry, God. I thought I ran out of stories. There's another one. There's another one. Sorry, your expedition got impounded. <laughs> They got away with it. I knew I knew she had nun vibes. They ain't going to search the nun. <laughs> Look at me. You know. Come on. Come on. I tell you the story at the border when he went like this. And I thought he was going like, okay. But he um, was going mota. Um, and I was like, yeah. And he laughed. He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, no. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Don't take me to jail. The good thing about Mexico jail, you just pay like 50 bucks, 300 bucks, and you out. You don't need a bail bondsman. But, you know, if you don't pay, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. Their prisons are so different. My cousin was locked up over there. She came back with like missing all sorts of teeth. It was crazy. Mm. She said they fed her in like a trough. My uncle was over there too for a little while. We had to go get him. I have a wild family. I have a wild family. We get locked up in two countries. They took my uncle's car when he was down there. It's a Volvo. It's a nice car. Anyways, I'm sorry, family. Don't listen to this. It's inter it's interesting. So what am I? What I have to talk for an hour? What am I gonna say? Begonia over and over. Flower. No. Anyway, what what a strong people though, to survive Mexico prison, you gotta be a strong person. <laughs> They're a little off the rocker though. <laughs> <laughs> I they took me to the jail, but I just paid them and I didn't get to go in. But they showed it to me. I was like, "What you showing me for? Why don't you just I take my money on the street, man? I don't need to see that." Scary business. They have machine guns and shit. <laughs> They just rob you. They got my buddy. They set you up. We used to go get buy pills because we're drug addicts. And uh, my buddy bought pills and he walked out. He bought pills legally, supposedly. Sold to him. And as soon as he walked out, federales came and just jacked him. Yeah. My buddy had a knife on him. He got had to pay him off too. I'm like, we bought it here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They sell it to you and then they charge you for it. And then they take it. Like, that was my switchblade. It's all right. New Mexico. Anyways. We used to go to Mexico a lot. That shit was awesome. Before we were 21. I don't think it was dangerous. I mean, we're in L.A. What's, what's the difference? Yeah. What's the difference? Oh, my sister's day. She's watching my boy. Um. Yeah, wild, wild life. Yeah, we used to rent these condos with ocean views, and uh, and just put like twelve, thirteen motherfuckers in there. I'd rent it out, charge everyone. It was cheap because it's so many of us. It's like thirty bucks a night. We just split it evenly. And I would tell everyone not to break everything, and then I would break everything. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it. I told you that one girl shit her skirt and smelt up the joint. Did I tell you that one? Mm, maybe. We went with all these girls, and this one girl diarrhea, and we made fun of her. It was kind of mean. <laughs> but she did diarrhea everywhere. <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, of course I'm going to call you stinky booty. You stink. You know, <laughs> I broke the bed, the closet door and like a light. Not even fucking just, <laughs> just, you know, I broke the bed just being a dumb, dumb. I wasn't that dumb, though. My my other buddy, 
I was gonna name him. We're getting better at that. He lit like an M1000 in the place and, and, and like blew a <laughs> hole in the floor. Not my condo. That was. We're like, bro, what are you doing? And he's bugged out. I always thought he was on speed, but no proof. He hit it well. You know. <laughs> too skinny, too. Biggest stoner in the world. He was my buddy I went to Amsterdam with and he ate too much mushrooms and he said the the CIA's after him and he and he ran and he kept hopping tram to tram bus to bus trying to shake him. We're like, "Bro, there's no one following you. You're on too many mushrooms." And you probably don't have your speed in you, and you, you know, <laughs> you're not. It's weird when you're so used to something and you don't do it, you go extra crazy. That's what happened with the naked guy that yeah. peed on everybody. <laughs> I think he didn't have narcotics, and that's why he went nuts. Shame on him. <laughs> you always have to have the bag if you're hooked. Yeah, I got it. Amsterdam was funny, man. The amount of times we all almost died and got robbed. It was great. Almost got hit by those trams. We all got on like a train to go somewhere. And uh, one of us, my buddy Andrew, was on the outside. And we just saw the door shut. And we just were like, bye. (laughs) And we took off. No cell phones. He didn't even know nothing. If he He found the hostel like eight hours later. After checking like 12 hostels, because he didn't even know the name. You think we knew the name? <laughs> I got lost in Paris. We left the hotel, and I I didn't know where, what it was. You know, you understand how stupid that is? <laughs> I don't know the name. I don't have a map. I don't have anything. I was like, I'll figure it out. Bro, hours, <laughs> hours walking the streets of Paris. I was like, I'll just sleep on the street, wake up in the morning, go back at it. And then I found it. I think I told this story before, but me and my buddy Justin, we went to the Eiffel Tower and we were sick as the dogs because we did Amsterdam first. So we just did drugs and sugar and and it was like November, so it was cheap flights. So we're, we're riding bikes in the wet, cold rain, doing drugs, eating sugar. So we got sick as a dog. We went to Paris, but we smuggled all the drugs. Remember the drug sniffing dog almost yeah. got us? Man. I got to make better decisions. <laughs> There's so many stories here. I just tell them all because I'm, we got new camera equipment. So we're in Amsterdam and uh, we're taking the uh, the train from Amsterdam to Paris and we have a, a bunch of drugs in our backpack and this dog comes up to me. We're sitting on the bench waiting for the train and I'm like, hey puppy, I'm high, you know, and I'm like petting him and it's connected to a cop. And he's like, you have anything? I'm like, oh, shit. And I had roaches on me. So I just pulled out a little Altoid tin of, like, roaches that we would save. And then he was like, okay, that's nothing. But he didn't check the backpack. That had everything, bro. Mm-hmm. Everything. You understand me? <laughs> Drugs. And then he went to the next guy d- that I didn't know. And then the dog patted him. They checked his bag. He had stuff. We had more than him, by the way. And then they handcuffed him and took him away. And we're like, oh, my God. <laughs> then we get to Paris. Me and my buddy go to the Eiffel Tower. And we're having a good time, but we're sick as dogs. And then he goes, I'm not feeling well. I'm going to head back. And this is like early. Like I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to power through and let me get some sightseeing done because we're here like two days, you know. So I hang out like maybe another three, four hours doing the museums and shit. Like that, I don't even know what I'm doing. But all the tourist shit right around the, uh, you know, the arcs, the Arc de France. Some French hairy shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck you, Napoleon, you little short fucker. Anyways, um, and uh, and so I hang out and I'm filming shit, and uh, and then I go back and I get lost for hours. And keep in mind, I hung out for three, four hours, and then I got lost for like three, four hours, and then I get back to the hotel and I'm so tired and exhausted, and you know, and I just lay down and I don't even think like, where's my buddy, you know. And cut to maybe like an hour or two later, he just opens the door like, I was lost for 12 hours. Like he was so (laughs) lost. I was lost. He was more lost. (laughs) Of course he was. He was the guy running from the CAA on the bus. You know what I mean? And these are my friends. These are the shit we did on the daily. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. What is with druggy kids? We just like adventure. 
Like, let's eat drugs and get lost. <laughs> but we're in another country. I still got a pistol and a knife on my lap. Um, That's crazy. This is crazy. Normal people don't have stories like this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then that girl I met at the Pink Floyd concert. Yeah. And we're about to make out. And then she pukes in her beer cup, fills it to the top, and then asks me for gum. And then we still made out. <laughs> and I'm like, Fuck it. This is crazy. Man, what a wild life. That was before stand up. <laughs> I'm probably forgetting shit. Oh, yeah, the sex show. Mm hmm. They pants me in front of everybody. I wasn't circumcised yet. I had the elephant trunk out, <laughs> sniffing it out. This lady pants me. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that shit's weird. As much as I like sex, like sex show, I don't know. It's too weird. I pretty much done with porn, bro. Nice ayahuasca bro i puked it out of me that's just crazy i went from watching it two to three times a day for 25 years to like hardly ever i puked a lot of the weed out too because here's a perfect example i do love weed though but it, it someone gave me joints in uh, new mexico and i had warm food and i was exhausted and i wanted to go to the room to eat it and I had a joint, but normally I would go smoke the joint, then go eat it. But the food's never warm because the kitchen closed late. When you do, to explain this, uh, I do stand up and I can't eat before a show. So I go before the kitchen closes, put my order in, put it in a to go container, I'll eat it back at my hotel room. But by the time I get there, it's always fucking cold. This kitchen closed late, so I had hot food. So I was like, smoke a joint and let my hot food get cold or actually have hot food for once. And I chose hot food over a joint. You understand that? <laughs> I know that's crazy, but this whole crackhead would have never have done that. <laughs> that when I was in Canada and Winnipeg in winter, it was negative like 35. I'm not exaggerating. I was out there like this, just fucking freezing my balls <laughs> off, just smoking a joint. I'm like, am I hitting it? Is it icicles? What's happening? <laughs> my lips are numb. My face is numb. My hands numb. I was out there every night smoking multiple times a night, negative 40. And I don't believe I'm exaggerating. Because that was the time they're like, it's colder here than Mars right now. Look it up. And I did. And I'm like, that's all. When my brain just went, move down. Go down. Equator. Move to El Salvador. Get a tan. <laughs> Bro. So that's the shift. I noticed it. I still love it. And it is a medicine and a healer. I'm just an addict. And I, you know, it runs my show. But not anymore, apparently. Yeah, I think I smoked maybe once in the last week. But I'm not fiending. That's the difference. That's the difference. I don't smoke at the comedy store anymore. I'm like, what are you doing? Stop going back there. Level up, baby. Not that there's anything wrong with weed. If it's saving your ass, you keep huffing. If it's running your show and you could get rid of it, get rid of it. You know, to each their own. I know this triggers people because I used to be one of those people. What the fuck is the fuck? You shut the fuck up. That's Mary Jane, bitch. It's a medicine, and we're not supposed to take medicine all day, every day. That's my thoughts. Now back to my charcuterie board. Oh, I got some notes too. Oh no. I stared at the eclipse even though I knew I shouldn't. <laughs> I was like, come on, you know? I went like this. <laughs> I didn't even have, I didn't even put my sunglasses on. I have Ray Bans because I make money now. And I'm over those ten dollar cheapies. And I didn't even put those on. And I was like, wow, this hurts. You know, it was just like this. I squinted. Eyelashes. <laughs> I'm a thinker, dog. <laughs> got some smarts. I got some wits. I knew I wasn't supposed to, but I was like, just real quick. What is it going to do? 
What is it really? It, it, I stare at it other days of the week. It burned just like the other days. What's the difference? I think if you're actually looking at the real eclipse, like the full eclipse, your body doesn't have the innate response where you like automatically look away. Mm. So you can definitely do like a lot more damage than you think because you'll look at it longer than... I power through on the other days anyway. You stare at it. <laughs> no, I remember learning about sun gazing, so I was like, I'm going to go stare at the sun, but you're supposed to wait till the last moments because it's not harmful. Mm -hmm. And I was staring too soon. I was like, mm -hmm. man, my eyes are hurt, man. <laughs> I can't see shit. I was just seeing spots for like hours after that. <laughs> That's all right. I got LASIK, bro. Yeah. We're good. I can <laughs> see now. <laughs> so what's it going to do? I'm blind anyways. You going to make me more blind? I'll be like Josh Potter. That's fucked up. <laughs> He's got these thick old Coke bottles. I got to get him on the pot. Oh, more gifts. A fan gave me this. Fuck, I didn't get his name. Anyways, this guy made me cry, bro. This guy gave me a Tupac album. Damn. And he had like all my old merch. And I, I know I help people with the, with the sober shit. That's why I always keep preaching because it helps knuckleheads out there that are just like me. And he was just saying all this shit, like, he helped me. And I'm just like, you know, I'm like, dog, I don't want to cry in a bar right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was a sweet soul, and he gave me this uh, Tupacalypse Now album on vinyl, which is fantastic. I need to get a record player in my records over here. They're in my dad's garage. I've just been lazy the last four years. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't picked them up. <laughs> Now is the only time I have a legit excuse, my son, you know. Before, uh, what, what, what what happened the other three years, Craig? <laughs> huh? Just nah, nah. Tupac. Let's, uh. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get some of these gummies out. I've been forgetting to read my commercials. Let's get. Those are the double doses I've had on display the last few months, or month. This is Colors Gummy. Let me get this shit. Coasters. Let me get it set up. I should have done this before the show, but you know, we, uh, we don't. We don't roll like that. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Dude. Colors, microdose mushroom gummies are the best thing that ever fucking happened to me, bro. These, you guys, this is my new shit. I know most motherfuckers have to do something, right? You gotta smoke or drink or whatever. My shit is, I was trying to tell my cousin this, like he drinks, you know? I'm like, dog, I know you gotta get fucked up. Just eat mushrooms. You got do do better yourself drugs. These motherfuckers are just drinking themselves to death, you know? It's so sad. Cause I was the same way. My a lot of people in my family, a lot of you know, so many. My hero, Ron White, raging alcoholic, he's sober now. That's fantastic. That's crazy. Forty, fifty year alcoholic and just he eats mushrooms. He does ayahuasca. If God didn't make it, don't take it. So if you got to do shit, weed and mushies, baby. Not everyone can do ayahuasca, you know. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, and these are uh, colors, mushrooms, gummies. They're point two. Uh, they It's hardly noticeable in sense of a high, but you just teeter to positivity. And you just appreciate nature, appreciate love, your family, your, whatever you got. And it just gets, if you're going through hardships, take two of them motherfuckers and go to nature and tell me you don't feel better. It's not going to make your problems go away. It's going to make them more manageable. And people are taking all these goddamn pills with crazy amounts of side effects by corporations that profit and don't give a single fuck about us. And it is so evident. And I don't understand how people still defend these idiots. Some of the side effects of some of the um, head meds are like suicidal thoughts. And I'm like, that's what I'm trying to get away from, you know. It's crazy. And there's just little little fungus that just makes you feel better. 
And I shared a meme on my Facebook, but it was a picture of a mushroom cloud nuclear explosion. It said legal. And then it was a picture of a psilocybin mushroom with a smiley face, and it said illegal. I mean, I know I'm sharing memes and learning through them, but <laughs> tell me that doesn't carry some fucking weight right there. Weapons of mass destruction are legal, rampant, sold every day, shipped all over the world. And this little fucking mushroom that grows naturally on this planet for millions of years, hundreds of thousands of years, whatever the fuck it is, is illegal. Like, get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, feds. Suck my dick. Ka, ka, ka. <laughs> fucking feds. When are we going to take shit back, you know? Anyways. Colors mushrooms gummy. Enter code Lucy15 at Colors Gummies and you'll get 15% off, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lucy15. L-O-O-S-E-Y 15. And it seems shady and not legit because it's, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I promise that they'll ship it and you'll get your medicine no matter what stupid state you're in, you know, even if just how we got this home, you know, you'll get your <laughs> shit. <laughs> they can't check us all there's too many of us so order some medicine better your life watch I promise you if you're struggling get a bottle of that come back at me tell me what happened and it's legit don't be scared you know it's just illegal a little bit <laughs> big whoop <laughs> big whoop what are they gonna do I don't give a fuck you know Just another story. Looks like I got new material, Federale. You fucking pussy. You fucking cocksuckers. Yeah. Also, once again, I always like to say this. I do actually respect and admire some law enforcement. You know? Get the rapers, get the murderers, get the real criminals. But when you're on our backs about fucking mushrooms and weed and, and tickets and shit like I'm going 10 miles over suck my butthole okay I'm going 140 alright yeah that's pretty bad get me <laughs> get me you know what I mean it's like most of the time they're just harassing us shooting too quick and not you know I, of course there's dope fools doing some dope shit uh, arresting some monsters let's just do that Get the monsters, get the ditties, and leave me and my pistols alone. <laughs> what other notes? Yeah, colors, gummies. Link in the bio. Link. Oh, man. Mila and her goose turd. <laughs> I was at family dinner with my son and, and sisters and niece and nephew and baby mama and uh, Mila. We went on this long walk and um, my dad lives in this beautiful old folks community that has like a golf course. By the way, this old folks community, I'm moving there. They have pottery, carpentry, ping pong, gym, poker room, banquet hall, two pool clubs, jacuzzi, uh, everything, golf course, mini golf course waterfall putting greens so we're walking to the waterfall with the kids and uh and mila goes what's this this is beautiful gooses geeses goose lucy goosey <laughs> whatever dog and she picks it up and she squeezed it and it was a big old goose turd and she immediately <laughs> goes ah! and she was so embarrassed she would not stop crying me thaddy everyone was laughing thaddeus felt kind of bad me and baby mom were cracking up. <laughs> she was mortified. And she legitimately cry ran back and cried the entire way. I had to like run to keep up with her to make sure she didn't get hit by a car, you know? <laughs> I was like, Mila, stop. It's just poop. Like, just wash your hands. And then we get back to uh, my dad's place. She's crying to her mom. And I go, go ahead. Tell her what happened. Tell her. My sister was nervous. She thought I'm a psycho and like hit her or something. <laughs> I was like, no, that was before ayahuasca. Pa. <laughs> and uh and then uh yeah she, i go tell her tell her and she went like this 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she was crying and wouldn't tell her. I was like, tell her. And, mm-hmm. She was so embarrassed. And then she continued to cry for another like 30 to 45 minutes. We're like, Mila, fucking come on. It's just poop. You wash your hands. God gave us soap. <laughs> Devil gave us caca. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then and then I'm such a fucker. Like, you know, a week goes by and I go, hey, remember, uh, Mila, remember when you picked up that goose turd? And she just goes like a, <laughs> It's like her first traumatizing thing that ever happened. It's a fucking goose turd. <laughs> it's not that bad. If that's your worst trauma, you're living a good life. Yeah. Man, that was funny, bro. <laughs> just crying. Ah, just holding her hand out like this, too, by the way. Like this. Ah. It's just, it shook her. I'm like, it's just a poop. I've picked up poop before, and you squeeze it. You're like, that's not a rock. <laughs> you know? Happened like two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm at the beach. I'm like, ooh. Mm. Poop. I can poop out. Any questions? <laughs> I went in the water today. That shit was awesome. I should go in that ocean every day. It completely changes the chemistry of your brain. I was already in decent spirits. I, w- I didn't go in for... Uh, I was already in a good place, but it just took me to a better place. And if you're in a bad place, it'll just take you to a decent place. Man, I love mushrooms in the beach. You guys, if you're sad, eat mushrooms. If you're happy, eat mushrooms. If you're horny, eat mushrooms. (laughs) What is the moral of the story here? (laughs) Eat mushrooms. Stop struggling and eat some goddamn mushrooms. I have boxes of this shit. I'm never running out. (laughs) I love life. This makes my dick hard. This is a good life. God is good. Colors, colors, color. I got four boxes of that shit. I got a lot of road dates ahead of me. (laughs) I can't be sad on the road. I just be eating mushrooms. I started doing push-ups only three times, but that's better than no times. Yeah. That's pretty good. You might see Craig get ripped. I'm changing my life, baby. You can see it. You've seen it. It's cool. It's cool to better, do better, you know? Man, I've been down there though, and, <laughs> and, and, and it, it's it's a good contrast though. You can change it, everybody. You can turn it around. I'm living proof. There's 50 millions of examples of other proofs. I know my story, and that's why I preach it because there was times I didn't want to live, and now I'm gonna buy a fucking beach house. And raise my son and be a good daddy. And that's what's up. And that's fulfilling. And that's dope. It's hard too. But it's different kind of hard. Before it was like. What the fuck was it before? Before it was like just like hard and. uh, And you just had, you didn't care, you know. You didn't care the outcome. You didn't care whether you lived or died. You didn't care. I always cared because I was, you know, I'd feel bad when I when I'd make my mom cry or like she'd always text me, "Are you alive?" You know what I mean? That doesn't make you feel good. You're like, "Oh yeah, I'm alive." <laughs> 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 that's so sad my mom would text me that every fucking weekend or every night I was just out party are you alive yeah 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 I'm alive in the gutter <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know where I'm going with this just preaching what else you got some farts oh uh, just a burp how long we been rolling uh what we got here 47 minutes 48 minutes okay Yeah, doggy. I don't know. I'm out of notes. That's all it says. Stared at the eclipse. Mila Goose Turd. Commercial for Colors Mushy Gummies. Uh, New Mexico shows were all good, sounds like. Fire, bro. Fire. Oh, I made a woman cry. 
No, <laughs> that, that sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, someone was heckling me over here, and I, I, uh, I, I don't. I'm better now. I don't. I didn't do it. Say anything. I hang. <laughs> I, I mean, so, I, I think I may have said, shut the fuck up, bitch. But that's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gave her like six strikes, bro. Sure. It was a fun, rowdy show, so I didn't want to rock the boat too much. And it wasn't destroying the show. But she wouldn't stop. And she was crazy. She was hammered. She was shit face hammered. She kept coming at me. And I just, I, I uh, power through. Like, I just ignore. Like, ignore it. It'll go away. And then uh, she just kept coming at me towards the end. I did say, like, shut the fuck up. But not, not like, cra- like, it got a laugh. It was, it was fine. But then she was so hammered, she started crying and left the show. But I, I'm, I'm powering through, so I don't look. I don't want to look. So I don't even know. Later uh, at the meet and greet, someone told me that lady left crying. I'm like, hey, man, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> She heckled me like 19 times, and I said, shut the fuck up once. I could have said that way sooner, and I didn't say it with hatred or anger. It, uh, like, I got on camera. I'll fucking show y'all. <laughs> I, I said, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> you know, like like, uh, like funny, because I've learned my lessons when I've said it the not funny way in other cities my first year's headlining. Because, yeah, it ruins the show. Even if you're correct, and they're a monster, and they're a piece of shit, and they deserve harsh words... You still ruin the energy of the show. Amir K taught me that. That guy's a fucking gangster at stand up. And watching him deal with hecklers in a positive, loving manner while still like kind of destroying them, it's great. And uh now that's my goal is like Yeah. We got it on tape. I I got proof. I got proof. I wasn't too crazy. <laughs> yeah, of course these are lessons you learn the hard way. I remember it being incident in Houston. Washington D.C., San Diego, where I just broke, you know. Oh fuck, I regret that. But they don't know how hard stand up is, and you're just fucking with me. It's so hard, and to remember an hour of jokes, and that stay in that rhythm, and they're fucking just wrenching the spokes, and you're like, God damn it, I have ADHD, lady, this is not, and I always go off on a tangent, not out of my act, which is fun sometimes, but, um, yeah, no, I, I learned, I stopped that real quick, it was at Arlington, uh, Draft House, I believe the venue's called, in Washington, D.C., I had a bad meltdown, they, they were awful human beings, and they didn't get it, and they were school teachers, Fucking school teachers. <laughs> Two white lady school teachers, front row, just ruining the show. And I got them kicked out because I couldn't, they wouldn't stop. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't shut up. And they were front row. I mean, like, sit in the back of your piece of shit. And, uh, yeah, dude. And I remember it ruined the show and there was no recovering after that. And I was like, I can't do that anymore. But also, I don't know what to do when they're that awful. My homie Drew Dunn, there was this lady ruining the show, and he was like, get her out of here, and she wouldn't leave, and they had to call the cops. What? It took like 35 minutes, and then they went back to the show. It was crazy. (laughs) The whole audience was like, lady, leave. Nobody wants. She's like, no. What is? (laughs) 300 strangers hate you and want you to leave, and that doesn't sink through your thick fucking skull? What is happening? At that point, I'm like, punch the old lady. Somebody yeah. knock her out. Someone just yeah, that'd be doing her a favor. No, it's, it's always white ladies. These fucking white ladies. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is with these white ladies? I don't understand it. Damn, man. Yeah. That makes me mad for him. And he's a sweet, good dude. Drew Dunn's the man. We've had him on, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was supposed to do it again, but our schedules didn't line up. Um, Yeah, I did JFL with him. That's my boy right there. Good man. Yeah, he's killing it too. That guy's a hustler. I love the hustlers. Yeah, that's all. Just don't be a shitty-ass heckler. 
It's fucking. I don't understand why that's so hard to understand. Oh, by the way, huge shout out to Quesadas Comedy Club. That's the fucking smoothest. Ever, they did everything right, bro. They got the clock on the wall. They film for you. They send you the footage. They treat you good. They pay you good. They, they're just on their shit. Other than the little robot busboy kitchen thing going by. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. They have one little AI bot back there. He kept going by the green room. I was like, get this guy the fuck away from me. I don't know about this, uh, New Mexico. What the hell? What the hell, bro? Just robots with trays. They're Friedman. taking your jobs. They're taking, uh, yeah, they're taking my job. Fucking AI monster. <laughs> Busting tables. Get out of here, man. <laughs> the staff was dope. The shows were fire. Those shows were lit, bro. Yeah, that's a good club. They put me on the marquee like the big one outside, you know? I got footage of all that. I'll, I have to send you these little videos. Yeah, look at this. I made it, mama. Ooh-wee. On the marquee. God is good. Hell yeah. And, uh, yeah. God bless Quesada's Comedy Club, a well-ran, dope comedy club. Brand new, too. I guess the guy's been in the game a long time, and it shows. He he knew. like It's like, oh, did a comic run, you know, design this? Because everything makes sense. <laughs> you go to these other clubs, it's fucking nothing, bro. <laughs> I doubt comedy club bookers and owners are listening to me, but hey, film everything and give it to the comics because guess what it does it blows them up and your club up everybody wins it's not even that much of initial cost it's crazy every all of these clubs can be filming dope shows and and then they'll have their logo in the background and let's let's say it's like david tell or some legend or a, a big he's huge too but i'm just saying like let, sometimes like burt kreischer will want to run shit and test it out you get burt kreischer to post the fucking clip the guy does arenas you know what I mean? But they don't film. 80% of them don't even film. And if they do, it's like a shitty camera, shitty quality, shitty audio. There's always, and this club got the good sound, 4K camera, you know? Some of them do it right. And it's just, it's like, that's not rocket science. It's also free commercials and branding for you. Like, look at all these clips. Um, But yeah, Quesadas is awesome. A lot of clubs do do it right, and a lot of clubs do not. I ain't going to name them because they pay me money. <laughs> but you're just like, come on. Yeah. That's it, man. I'm happy and content. I ain't got nothing else. Have you seen the, the little robot uh, delivery guys they have all over, like Sunset? Yeah. They the have sun. their names on them, yeah. too. Don't give that thing a name. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got eyes oh this is bobby <laughs> this is charles it's not charles it's a fucking bassinet with a motor <laughs> they, yeah i don't like the way the world's going <laughs> they didn't they connect somebody to the the thing didn't Neuralink go through? Oh, well, they supposedly, yeah. Ugh. There's motherfuckers signing up for that. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. <laughs> Who wants a chip in their head? I got enough shit in my head. <laughs> I need no more. What is happening, bro? Meta. I blame that lizard Zuckerberg. <laughs> Fuck Elon Musk, too. He's the one doing it. He says, I don't trust AI, and then you have AI? How's that add up? How the fuck does that add up? I don't trust guns. <laughs> well, why you got one on your lap? It's a fake pistol, everybody. Don't be scared. <laughs> um, I don't get it, man. Oh, I saw everything's through memes. I'm the meme encyclopedia. <laughs> Somebody said this, but it just has weight to it. They're like, how about we make AI do chores, taxes, vacuuming, cleaning, and not art? Yeah. 
you know all the shit nobody ever wants to do like my the shit my dad made me do as a kid run this line out of the house with the raccoons and the spiders no <laughs> give it to ai charlie over there he'll do it <laughs> you know like that shit <laughs> oh this is dangerous they usually send some poor guy poor jose from mexico <laughs> no send ai send ai jose <laughs> you know We're doing it wrong. They take, they're like, how can... They're like, they're take, they, there was a new thing on how they could just like basically clone you AI style and, and, and put you in movies and shit and you get no... Imagine, uh, I don't know who to use, just working your way up and acting Anthony Hopkins and then you're replaced by a robot. He's rich <laughs> enough, but I'm just saying like, like what? That's so weird. Just no more intellectual property rights. Although some weird shit too where they could just steal your ideas and change it slightly and make it their own. I remember Bill Burr shared it because he's the damn man. He's always fighting the good fight too. It's just like protect humanity and human rights and it's just we're constantly under attack with weird shit. This... Anyways... Luis, come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Man, I love cats. You want some mushrooms? Come on. <laughs> come on. I'll put my pistol away. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a good cat right there. Yeah. Cats and babies. That's about all I got, sir. I'm, an, I'm uh, can't think of anything else. What do we got next? San Antonio sold out. There's actually a few tickets left, but like eight. There's some refunds and people canceled. Grand Rapids is completely sold out. They wanted me to add a third show Saturday at like 4 p.m. I'm like, fuck no, dude. <laughs> I'm not even going to know what's going to happen by the third. You know what I mean? Like three shows in one day. You're like, I don't know how these savages do it. Ralph Barbosa do some shit like that. Three shows on a Sunday. I'm like, dog, how do you know what's what? I can't even survive, bro. The third one, I'm like, did I say this? Yeah, two times. <laughs> two times. Imagine living deja vu, but like. Three times, you know, <laughs> that I've done it before. And that third set was so weird. I'll be like, oh, I'm never doing this again. I'll just come back, <laughs> you know? Yeah, San Antonio is completely sold out. Grand Rapids is completely sold out. Give or take a few cancelizations. Hartford, Albany, Syracuse. There's a few tickets left. They're looking like they're all selling out. Los Angeles sold out. San Diego sold out. Damn, dog. The second my son came, I'm selling out like 97% of my shows. <laughs> what perfect timing. Thank you, guys. It's because of y'all. And I just love you, man. I fucking love you. It's all love. What a wild ride. What a wild ride. I think I met you right when I was getting into this shit, huh? Wasn't I at the Second City before stand-up? Because I remember you went to that, didn't you? I... I never saw you do improv. You saw me do stand up at IO West, though, yep, right? You there and that was like Malo. right when I was switching. Yeah, yeah, that was right when I got out of improv sketch and started doing stand up. Yeah, wildness. What a ride, brother. Yeah, it was me and Joe Dressel and like six other people at that IO show. Yeah, yeah, that was a good time. <laughs> Damn. Enjoy the ride, folks. Enjoy every sandwich. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I watch all this preachy shit and I just share it. It's all from fucking TikTok. I don't care. I don't care. I was watching Master P, man. That guy's a gangster. I fucking love him. Oh, yeah. He goes, the man with no shoes is, is sad and that he has no shoes until he sees the man with no feet and then he's grateful. <laughs> it's true. It's silly analogies, but it's all true. The moment we're in our heads, we're out of a, a state of gratitude and gratefulness, and no matter how bad it gets, you can always find something. You can always find something. 
I mean, even if you're dying, the pain's going to be over. That's something to be grateful for. I got a little dark. <laughs> yeah, I just love you all, people. Thank you. You come to my shows. You tell me. You listen to my pod, and it just makes me all happy and giddy. And it's funny because I'm getting, like, it's getting weird. I'm getting recognized everywhere. It's crazy, dog. Did I tell you I got free chips at the sandwich yep. shop? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. I made it, man. <laughs> They gave me free Lay's potato chips. And uh, no, but it's just tripped me out because they're just like, oh, my God. Like, can I get your autograph? You're fucking famous. I'm like, dude, I cleaned toilets for 10 years. <laughs> like, You know what I mean? It feels so funny. I'm just a regular guy I like knives and guns for his son. It's a regular Joe. <laughs> just a regular guy. <laughs> it's so foreign to me. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm just ex extremely grateful for all y'all, my people, <laughs> my friends, family, loved ones, all of it. My boy, my cats. It's a good life. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all I'm putting down today. If you're in a dark place, go to nature, get some mushrooms, go to the beach, do what the fuck you got to do. Don't do nothing, you know. <laughs> Bless you, sir. Sorry. You're good, man. Get the bunga. <laughs> and uh, yeah, take even if it's a millimeter in the right direction, it's still in the right fucking direction. Because that's feel uh, that's how I feel like I've been operating. I've been going in the right direction, but just like fucking like the tiniest increments. But that shit adds up. And now I don't watch porn. I'm pretty much done with my drugs, minus mushrooms. That doesn't count. This doesn't count. This doesn't count. <laughs> this is saving me this is why i'm getting better honest and of course grandmother ayahuasca just puking up all the foul shit and uh yeah just 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 start walking that way you'll see how shit lines up i'm telling you man that fucking that apartment bro it's i want that easy. one oh that one's open what <laughs> what <laughs> It's crazy. That was the most instant uh, manifestation shit ever. Or a coincidence to all the haters and doubters. Anybody on their spiritual path would be like, nope. Also, just, just having your eyes open because there's no sign up. There's no nothing. You know, I had no clue. My sign's up. Not that one. <laughs> it's a trip. Yeah, just I love you all. Keep, keep fighting the good fight. Love and light. Stay silly, stay smiling, smile at the bullshit. I know it hurts, but you can always find something funny, you know. That's all. That's all I ever done. That's how I cope. That's how I get through. Make fun of the wretchedness. And uh, yeah, Namaste. I love you all, and I'll see you at a city near you. And and onward and upward, baby. We'll keep walking this walk. God bless. Peace out, homies.